Hello, Anne from Superstitch. I'd like to introduce you to our brother, Luminaire 2 top of the line sewing, quilting, and embroidery machine. And this machine is just incredible. If you like bells and whistles, this has got it all. So starting with this very large screen here, you've got sewing, you've got embroidery. Brother has exclusive licensing to Disney. We have Disney embroidery designs and we have Disney decorative stitches as well plus a design center, which is built right into the machine where you can just scan a design right in or a picture right in, or you can even send it wirelessly as well and actually create your embroidery right in the machine. You've got a 16 and 5 8 inch bed space right here. This is our new optional magnifier. This is a brand new brother accessory. We've got four hoops. You've got your basic four by four, your five by seven. You've got a 10 and five eighths by 10 and five eighths square. And you have a 10 and five eighths by 16 inch massive hoop here. Then we have an all new brother just released um, a brand new magnetic quilting sash frame. This is brother's new magnetic quilt sash frame and we'll be showing a demo on that as well. It also includes this really nice case that has all your feet, including the Brother Move It foot for your quilting, all your feet that you need to get started. This, is, this machine is for the customer who wants to do it all. You want to do embroidery with no limitation in size. You want to do your decorative stitching with perfect positioning. We'll show you how you can use the cameras and the endpoint stickers for doing your sewing. And you want to be able to do create your own embroideries so you can either send pictures in with your phone or you can scan it in with the scanning board as well. Um, so if, if you like to be able to do it all and have everything right at your fingertips, this is a machine for you. In your sewing mode, you've got so many incredible decorative stitches and you've got sideways motion stitches, you've got your Disney stitches, you've got quilting stitches, just so many to choose from. And what's awesome is you can position them perfectly using the projector. So for example, if I wanted to choose one of my Disney stitches, I can actually see how it looks if I'm trying to position it right here. I can see how it looks there. But maybe I wanted to see how some of the other stitches would look. So I could choose one of the Mickey stitches or any stitch on the machine. But if I wanted to kind of audition to see, maybe I want to see what some of the other stitches look like. So I could actually audition several stitches and actually travel through them and decide which one I want. So I can see how they all look. When I get one that I decide that I want, then I just hit set and I'm ready to go. So in addition to the ability to actually project the stitch on the screen, we also have a laser. So I'm gonna turn the projection off and show you if you just wanted to um, sew a straight line, you could just have just the laser for the line that you're sewing. But then we also have an option of a subline. So the subline could be a quarter inch away, it could be an inch away, I can adjust that. Or I could also go in and instead of the um, straight line, I could also have, I could have a grid. If you were doing rows of decorative stitches, you could just simply do a stitch and then keep spacing them an inch apart because you can project a grid right on your screen or if you're doing your angled piecing, you can actually put an angle on here and you can set that angle to whatever it is you want for your piecing with your quarter inch. So this is great for quilters as well. Another thing we have is if you're trying to sew, say you're wanting to put an applique stitch along here and you wanna make sure that you stop with the completed stitch right here at the corner, we have the new endpoint stickers. So I'm just going to place the sticker just about an inch inside of where I want it to. So I'm going to activate my endpoint. So now when I'm sewing, the machine's going to know where I want to stop. So with the new endpoint sticker system, you can actually, if you're trying to place decorative stitches 
around appliques, around your corners. You can actually use the endpoint sticker and see how it actually perfectly stops the stitch right where you need it to be. You just place the sticker in here and I could use my laser and it will sew the stitch where you want it and stop it where you want it to be. That's our new endpoint sticker. You have so many options for your embroidery. First of all, you've got very large embroidery hoops. You've got your built-in Disney designs and you've got on-screen editing. I could turn him into an applique. I could add quilting. I could make him into, make an outline. Then we'll show you what else we could do with that. So if I just wanted to add some stipple quilting around this, I could change that. I could change the spacing. So you, there's just so many options that you can do very, very easily. This is just going to echo quilt, press OK, and I'm ready to do embroidery. So we have three ways to position your embroidery on the brother that makes it so easy. No matter what scenario you're working with, one of these is going to help you position perfectly. So let's say I wanted to just put my new granddaughter's name right on this line. So I want to add Lucia Rose right on there. So I can bring up. I can simply bring up the name and I'm ready to go. Now it brought up horizontally, but I want it to sew on that line. So I've got three different options here. I can simply take my little snowman sticker and I can position it and I could say, well, I want it to be centered and I want it to be right on that line there. And when I go to the layout, I can select my snowman and I'm going to select that I want it to sit on this line. And I just touch that and then I hit scan. If you look right here, it has now completely rotated the name. So it's actually going to sew right where I want it to sew out. But another way that I could do it is to actually take a picture of what's in my hoop. So I could touch this. Okay. So just by scanning it, now the picture of the what's in my hoop is now on my screen and I can use that to position. So when I'm ready to go, now I could actually zoom way into there and now I could then take and position this right where I want because I can now see it right on my screen. So I can position, I can have the snowman sticker or I can actually have a picture of what's in my hoop right on my screen for positioning purposes. But then we have a third way to also position. So we'll show you that one. So now when I go to do my embroidery, I can actually just project it right onto my fabric. So that's another luminaire feature is our projection. So now I can see it right on here and I can move it and I can see right where I want it to be. So then if I needed to move it, I can move it right to where I need it to be. And I think that's good. So I'll go ahead and sew it out. So again, I can use the snowman, I can scan the image, or I can project the image. Three ways of positioning on our brother Luminaire. One of the exciting new features on the Luminaire 2 is the quilt broidery. There's so many options here. This is one of so many built-in designs. So you simply just open the design and then I'm just going to select the camera here and I'm just going to place the um, snowman sticker in the center. We've got one done here, but we'll show you how that worked. Basically, when it's in the hoop, I just place this in the center it will perfectly capture this image of what is in my hoop and then using the camera function I can visibly position this perfectly to fit. This is a brand new um, section of hexagon border designs that we have. So we just simply select the border design that you want. You're going to input your dimensions that you need so after you input your dimensions, then you're just going to save the file. When you open the file, it's going to prompt you through how to perfectly position. So after following the prompts on the screen for positioning, you'll end up with a perfectly quilted border. 
So we've got hexagon fills and we have hexagon borders in our new quilt broidery. Using the My Design Center, the scan board that also is included with the machine, you can just scan a drawing or picture in and instantly turn it into embroidery. Another option is to use the My Design Snap app. You can actually just take a picture from your phone, send it to the machine, then you'll open it and then you can actually fill it with stitches right on the machine. So this sample shows how we can do outside fills as well as new inside fill areas as well. And we even have new buttonholes, perfectly positioned buttonholes. And again, using the endpoint stickers for perfect endpoint decorative stitching. Another new feature is the ability to reorder. So if you'd brought the bumblebee in first and then wanted to put them on the flower, you could have the flower on top of the bee and then you could just reorder it and then have bring the bee on top of the flower. So this is just another example of the gorgeous built-in designs. So to go along with the great quilt broidery that we now have to offer, we now have a magnetic quilting sash frame. So this makes it so much easier to hoop your quilt while you're taking advantage of our quilt broidery. So the way this works is, yeah. so we have these very strong magnets that will just snap into place here. So now that's gonna hold that quilt in there for us to do our quilt broidery. Here's a border. Here's another example of the inside and outside fills. This is a great Christmas tree um, or Christmas topper project that is now available. There's so many features of this machine that hopefully the samples will give you an idea of some of the possibilities. So stop in for a visit and we can show you more of what we've done. And we also remember we have classes and free training with all of our machines. We're happy to answer any questions you may have. We invite you to give us a call or just stop in the store as this is an in-store only purchase. Remember that we're here to support you with all of your purchases.